Bismillah, salatu wa salam, rasulillah. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Let's see if everything is working. I think... Can't see here. I think it's working. I think... Okay. It seems working. Uh, is it working? Okay. Hello? To use the vocal I think uh, you will you need to go to the vocal Room. This is the vocal room. You hear me? Yeah? I think my vocal is working. Whatever you want. Really? Okay. Okay, let's start. Uh, first thing first thing first uh, let's check it again I think it's working I think everything is working okay let's start uh, first first thing first uh, we talked last time about uh, the global view of what the thesis uh, should looks like we talked about uh, chapter one, I guess. Where is my okay? We talked about uh, uh, chapter one. Chapter one is uh, called uh, uh, digital digital design and uh, computer architecture. Architecture. Okay, this is the first chapter. Uh, normally, you will have uh, you have to uh, write it in fifteen pages. Have fifteen pages to write the first chapter. Uh, well, you have some points here about this chapter. Uh, we can say that the chapter is divided into two parts. We have the first part is about digital design and the second part is about computer architecture. You need to uh, study that. This is very important. Why it's important? This is uh, the key to understand the hardware. This is the way uh, we will uh, use to understand the hardware and how to use the hardware. The, uh, of course, you know that I am the teacher of, of uh, uh, digital design. You know I'm the teacher of... Uh, 
Okay, I think I will put it this way. Give me a second. I think, okay, let's see. Yes. Just to uh, let you see uh, what I'm writing here. Okay, those are the, the, po the points to follow to, uh, to write the, uh, the first chapter. Anyway, you, you already know that I'm the teacher of uh, digital design. Digital design, one of the teachers. And I uh, teach it also uh, computer architecture. Not like uh, uh, the main uh, teacher, but I was assistant. Anyway, the, uh, we will try to put some point here. They are uh, not the absolute point to follow. You have the freedom to choose, uh, to add or to, uh, to not uh, use uh, those points. Uh, they are just here to make a, a global view of uh, what the chapter should look like. Uh, we have the first point. Uh, the, the chapter is divided in two parts. We have the first part is the digital design. Uh, the, the digital design is where we talk about uh, how to de design the hardware. This is exactly what we study in uh, SM2, in SM1, exactly in SM2, when we use the, uh, the logic gates, uh, the combinational circuits, the sequential circuit to create some hardware, to create the hardware. Uh, we will start, you will start with the, the first part, digital des design, we will start by a definition of what is a, a digital electronic. You know that uh, we have two kinds of electronics, uh, logic electronic and uh, have logic. This we have logic electronic and digital electronic. You will try to uh, uh, give a definition of uh, what is electronic, uh, uh, what digital electronics and uh, uh, after that, the second point is about the combinational logic or combinational circuit. It's the same thing. You have uh, to write a point about a sequential logic. And uh, this is a new one. You have to write uh, a part about ASIC, ASIC design. This is new. This is uh, uh, something never seen before. What is the ASIC design? This is the ASIC design. It's the way... Uh, uh, actually, it's a flow. It's a flow. It's a method. It's a method that follows a chart. Let's see this. Look at this. We have, for, for instance, this image. This chart. We call, we call that a chart. This chart explain the flow of designing ASIC. What is ASIC? ASIC are the ship, the ICs. An IC is an ASIC uh, inside. This is an IC. IC uh, means integrated circuit. IC is integrated circuit, and this is the image of integrated circuit. It's exactly the hardware. In um, SM2, we use it to use logic gates, small gates, to construct the hardware. But we know in our uh, modern days, uh, the hardware is designed using silicon. Silicon. The silicon is used, uh, is designed uh, using what we call ASIC. ASIC stands for. Uh, ASIC, I don't remember. ASIC is. Uh, what is ASIC? Okay. ASIC is. Uh, Definition. Okay. ASIC application specific integrated circuit. This is the way how we design the ICs. This is the way how we de de design the ICs uh, in the modern days, of course. 
and we use a, a technique uh, shown in the image here we have a chart we have a chart we have a, a flowing chart uh, composed contains uh, multiple stages to do to get the final result for instance this this, this chart is well known it's it's uh, in the uh, in the domain in the hardware domain it's really well known you have to uh, uh, start with the requirement specification you already know what, what is specification is a way to describe I don't know if you remember my course or not the specification we talked about the specification the specification is how to describe to describe uh, the hardware it's just we start with a description then uh, you go to the architectural design architectural then you, you have to um, to uh, put in hierarchy put in hierarchy elements of the design in hierarchy how to organize them and uh, you have to go to RTL design RTL stands for uh, register transfer level this is uh, you have to uh, to study this register transfer level this is uh, some level in design in hardware which is based upon registers you know what is a register of course i guess uh, and you have a functional verification functional verification you have to verify you have uh, you have to create methods to verify if the circuit is functioning properly or not this is what we call functional verification we have pre-silicon validation uh, at this step you have to validate uh, the circuit in simulation you simulate you see if um, uh, this is a pre-silicon uh, before silicon before we put it on silicon you know exactly what the silicon is silicon is the the, uh, the 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 how we call that the silicon is a substance where the ICs are are the ICs are uh, are designed are created. We have this part. This is the synthesis and optimization. You have to understand that. You have to study that. You have to understand what uh, that means. The synthesis uh, optimization. We have the physical design. We have uh, the design for testability time and verification we have the type out and manufacturing and the last part is a post silicon validation and testing uh, this part is when you uh, manufacture when when we when you manufacture the uh, the ic and this is a test after manufacturing the ic anyway this is uh, an example of the the short flow they are different you, you could find uh, some differences, uh, slightly different. You, you, you could find uh, some uh, different chart, slightly different chart. But uh, in the overall, in the global uh, point of view, you have, uh, you have almost uh, the same steps, almost the same steps. I don't know if you, do you, ha if you have questions or no. You have any questions? And Kanish is uh, absent, is not here. The which shards so you should study this one this is the chart of uh, ASIC design this part ASIC design the ASIC design uh, follow a chart this chart and you have to study it and to put it on your thesis have to explain the different steps to design ASIC I already explained what is ASIC ASIC is IC when you create, when uh, manufacturers 
uh, I don't know, like uh, Intel or uh, Nvidia, or when they create uh, a ship, they call that ASIC. They call that in general, they call that ASIC. And the process of creating a ASIC or designing a ASIC must follow this chart. You have to follow this chart, and of course, this is the, the chart that describes the different steps to design. Okay, 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 okay. This is a chart to uh, with the different steps to describe to describe the process of designing an ASIC. There are many steps. And you have to understand that you have to write about it. Have to uh, do a, a reduction, uh, writing to do a, a writing about this chart. You have to write uh, about this chart. It's very important. And after that, I don't, it's not you are not forced to do that. It's not obligatory. You are not forced to do that. You can talk about FPGAs. FPGAs are really important to you, but uh, I don't think you will have enough space to add it in your chapter. Anyway, uh, I have to define what is an FPGA. An FPGA is this. The FPGA is this. Uh, this is an FPGA. This is a field programmable gate array. I do have one, actually. I do have uh, three actually. I both uh, three of them. I both uh, I never use them, but I uh, already do have one. The FPGA is a way to create hardware, but uh, uh, with a different method, easiest method. You don't have to. Uh, to use silicon like uh, like a real ship. It's, they are not real ships, actually. They are what we call uh, emulators. Emulator. What uh, does that mean? That means that they are like uh, how can I say that? How, like uh, like like reprogrammable uh, ships, you can implement, you can uh, create, design whatever uh, hardware you want, and you can change it. The uh, the circuit is temporary. It's temporary. The circuit is uh, can be changed. Can be changed. The uh, the circuit is not permanent. Is not permanent. Okay, this is the, the idea of FPGA. FPGAs are circuits. Okay, let's let's read. Are integrated circuits often sold off shelf? They are referred to as a field programmable because they provide customers customers uh, the ability to reconfigure. Yeah, yes, this is the uh, the point. The ability to reconfigure the hardware. To meet specific use case uh, requirement after the manufacturing process, this this is a volatile. That the, this is a circuit that can change. You can change them. You can program them. You can program them. The downside, the downside about uh, those uh, circuits, that they are not cheap. They are expensive. They are uh, slow. They are not uh, energy optimal. They consume a lot of energy. They are generally used for prototyping. We test our uh, circuit here. Then if we can attest that the circuit is good, we have to uh, uh, to create to uh, how we call that? How we call that? Excuse me a minute. You can, we can, put it on silicon. Let's say that 
we can put it on silicon. I don't remember the exact term. Use it to put a circuit on a silicon. Anyway, this is just a way to test circuit before the final, the final production. Okay, do whatever you want. You have the, uh, the free wheel to choose whatever you want. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is what is an FPGA. They are important in the, uh, in the field of uh, hardware. Anyway, we'll continue. The second part is the computer architecture. Computer art architecture, you have uh, to give a definition of what is a computer architecture, of course. Uh, the second point is uh, to define what is a micro architecture. If you remember, they are totally different. Micro architecture or in English, we uh, this term could be referred as I don't remember the micro architecture and uh, I don't remember. Computer organization. Computer organization. Computer organization. Okay. Computer organization uh, is about a micro architecture. If you remember, I don't know if you understand what is, micro, uh, what, what is the difference between architecture and micro architecture. The micro -arch architecture is the hardware inside an architecture. This is, a, this is an important point. To uh, make the difference, to make it, to understand, to well understand the difference uh, between what is an architecture and what is a microarchitecture or, or what is a computer organization. Computer organization is talking; it's 100% uh, hardware. This is uh, the way you construct the hardware inside your architecture for instance okay let's see an example let's see an example just to understand okay let's see this uh, microarchitecture images okay this is for instance a microarchitecture micro micro the microarchitecture is this this is this diagram and all the uh, the components inside the architecture this is what we call the microarchitecture microarchitecture but in the other hand an, ar an architecture is different. Computer architecture is different. The computer architecture is more or less about, this is more or less about the software. In a, in a, in a computer architecture, you have to talk about the ESA. If you remember what is the ESA. ESA, in French, we call that jeu d'instruction. ESA is instruction set architecture. The different, the the list, okay, ESA, computer architecture. The list of instructions we call that a ESA. Okay, let's see the real definition here. Instruction set architecture is part of the abstract model of computer. Define how it's controlled by the software. Yes, this is about the software. In the architecture, you have to talk about the software. Uh, actually, this is the melting point. This is where the two, uh, the two main parts of a computer are interrelated. You have the hardware and you have the software. You have the hardware and you have the software. The two are in a point of connection called ESA. ESA is the way how the software interacts with the hardware and the architecture in overall is to uh, frame that, to understand that, to how to define that. This is specification, how to specify that, how to describe that. How to describe the ESA is this. The ESA is the main part of an architecture. The ESA is a list of all the assembly instruction uh, or machine uh, language instructions uh, that are used to control the machine. The machine, and you have 
an overall a global view okay let's see images some images you have a, an overall a global view i guess we say to find a, an example construction set architecture construction set architecture okay if you take this uh, image for instance you have a global view it's not like a micro architecture this is different you will see all the parts of the architecture that are used only for programming this is about the software here for instance you will see some not all the registers you will see some registers that are used in the programming in the programming but not the registers that are used for instance in uh, the micro architecture that are used for other uh, for uh, to construct to uh, for the uh, the only hardware purposes uh, there are some instructions uh, the, sorry, sorry there are some registers used only that are not programmable you can't uh, use an assembly instruction uh, of that register for instance i can't say i can't uh, find an example of that okay let's take uh, let's take for instance the uh, the processor that we design in uh, that we design in uh, in in, uh, in our lecture in our course okay the, uh, the processor is here I will give you an example this is very important. You have to understand what is the difference be between microarchitecture and architecture. And for instance, this is the, the data path. This is our uh, processor. This is the, the, the processor we design in the uh, in the in the TPs. And we have uh, multiple registers. For instance, this is a register. Uh, this is a register. This register is called the AR. AR stands for address register. This, user, uh, this register is not from the architecture point of view but in the microarchitecture point of view because this is a description of the microarchitecture this register is not programmable you can't use it inside an instruction if you remember the uh, instruction of this uh, processor we have the instructions like this okay let's see uh, an example of instructions just to understand you have a table of instructions okay this those are register a register b c d Th those four are used in pro in programming but the other are not these registers are used in programming uh, in programming and these uh, registers called architectural registers the uh, the others like uh, ar are uh, what we call a non-architectural register Okay, let's see the. Uh, we need to see the, uh, the, the, the ESA. Where is the ESA? Okay, you have to zoom down just to get the overall view. Okay, this is the ESA. Yes. We have the instructions here A, is, uh, add, sub, and or etc. Uh, add. You uses registers A B. You use register A B and cannot the the these the, the, those register A R D L E R uh, S R. They are not programmable. You cannot use use them in the programming in the assembly language in the assembly language. Uh, therefore, this is the difference. This is the difference. We call that the microarchitecture. It's not architecture. And the the RF the registers uh, A B C D or R one R two R R three are what we call the architectural register. In uh, anyway, in the uh, uh, computer architecture, we don't see that. 
You don't have to see that in, my, in architecture. In micro, in micro architecture, you have to see that. But in the architecture, you have to see only the programmable registers, for instance, the memory, for instance. But you don't have all the internal details on how the architecture or the, the architecture is constructed, is designed, is created. This is the main difference between the two. And I understand that there are some confusion here. There are some confusion here, but I'm sure in the domain it's well clear. There are differences between the two, between the two domains. And you have to understand that and write about it. Do you have any question? Do you have questions? Are you here? I'm not understanding this. The, uh, the software is saying that you are not connected. <coughs> okay, it's happy here. Maybe you have delay, no? <coughs> okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, this is the definition of what is a microarchitecture in this point. Uh, we have to get to uh, put a definition about the ESA2, which is ESA, what we call ESA, construction set architecture, uh, it was called uh, jeu d'instruction in French. And you have to uh, Yes? I did, okay, okay, that's fine. That's good, that's good. It's, it's working very really good. I thought you uh, we we will take much more time to to establish the connection, but it was really easy. It was easy to uh, to set up this configuration. Anyway, it's working. That's good. Okay, we have the fourth point. It's a comparison between two kind of architectures. Uh, we have risk architecture and we have a CISC architecture. These two kind, these two kind of architectures are uh, uh, to understand the difference between these two kind. It's very important. You have to write about it. You have to explain what is the difference. Uh, risk architecture is what we call reduced instruction set computer, and CISC is complex instruction set computer. I guess. I guess. Yes, you have to uh, do some research. You have to do the research. Uh, uh, to do a research about it. You have to do a research to understand what is the difference between RISC and the CISC. I forgot there is only uh, there, there, there is also a difference between what we call the Harvard. Mm, I forgot this. It's important also to it's also important to to make a point about the difference between Harvard and uh, Harvard word versus uh, von Neumann von Neumann one Newman architecture. You have to make a study about those two kinds of architecture. You have to talk about that. And the final one, final point is the Flynn taxonomy. 
Taxonomy, Flynn is the, uh, the guy who invented this taxonomy. What is a taxonomy? A taxonomy is a way to categorize things. For instance, if we take, for instance, animals, animals, we can say that uh, we have different kinds of animals. We have, uh, I don't know, we have, uh, how do we call that? Uh, we have different kinds of animals. We have animals, uh, we have the mammals, we have the mammals, and we have, uh, I don't know how to call that in English, volai. I have no idea. Birds. Okay, let's say birds. We have, let's say, birds and uh, mammals. This is this kind of uh, categorization. When you put each, uh, each animal in uh, its category, in his category, uh, what, you are, what you are doing, you are doing what we call in science taxonomy. Taxonomy is the science of categorizing things. In computer science, we have also a taxonomy. The taxonomy is about computer architectures. We have different kind, different category, different classes of uh, computer architectures. You have different kinds and you have to see them. You have to see them, you have to study them, you have to, uh, to do a report of them. Okay, let's see them. Flynn, Flynn taxonomy, taxonomy, Flynn taxonomy. Okay, this is it, this is it. We have uh, four kinds of architectures. We have a CISD, which means uh, single instruction, single data. You have a MISD, multiple instruction, single data. We have a SIMD, single instruction, multiple data. You have a MIMD, multiple instruction, multiple data. Anyway, you have four kinds of architectures. You have to study them. You have to uh, dive uh, in, return, in the search in the uh, how we call that you have to uh, to do some research to understand what is the difference between the fourth uh, be between the fourth and uh, to try to write about them okay there it is there it is we have all the points you need to to do uh, to write the first chapter this is about uh, the what you call the thesis you have about the th this is the thesis when uh, you need to write where you need to uh, write uh, you have the uh, theoretical part in the practical part you will need will need to uh, use this language to design our architecture, this language is called the chisel. Okay, chisel. Chisel HDL. Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. This is a chisel. The programming language, the construction hardware is in a Scala embedded language, chisel. Is open source hardware description language HDL. This is what we call HDL. The next chapter with uh, the next chapter uh, will be called the hardware description language. The next chapter, the second chapter, is about this. Is about the, the the languages used to describe hardware. We call that v, uh, we call that HDL. HDL means hardware description language. And our next chapter is about this. Uh, use it to, to describe digital electronics and circuits at the register transfer level. You have to understand that. The, uh, they have a meaning. What, what means the register transfer level? You have to understand that. This is a level uh, of designing hardware. 
you have to understand that by yourself. We'll see uh, that, that later. Uh, chisel is based on Scala. Scala is another language. And an embedded uh, domain specific language, uh, Chisel is in uh, the oriented object, uh, the object oriented and functional programming aspect of Scala for describing digital hardware. Uh, using Scala as a basis allows describing circuit generators, high quality free access documentation exists in several languages. Anyway, we have the documentation. Uh, circuits described in Chisel can be converted uh, uh, into very log. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, very log is another uh, low level description language. I used to program with uh, very log. I know the very log for uh, sensitivity and the simulation. We will use very log to simulate. Okay, that's good. That's good. Very log is uh, a lower language it's lower than uh, chisel it's lower than chisel and we will use it to simulate our implementation this is good this is good we we'll use it to simulate our uh, processor our processor the processor megatron okay we have an example here we have a class this is a, a literance we have a different attributes i guess Anyway, I have to study that the, the, this with you. And uh, here we have uh, some other HDL. We have VHDL, we have Verilog, this is well known uh, language. We have System C, also used to describe uh, hardware. And we have System Verilog. Okay, and we have other, uh, many others, uh, other languages. Okay, we have. Uh, a complete list, I guess, here. Okay, we have a lot of languages. System very large, system C, handle C. I don't know. I don't know that. VHDL very large, C to HDL. Anyway. 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 Okay, this is the chisel, and I have, uh, you, ha uh, you can search on the internet for documentation to understand, to, uh, to, uh, to learn how to program with this language. Uh, me, myself, I don't know how to program with uh, chisel, I will try to learn, uh, to learn it with, with you. Uh, I will... We talked about this before. I will try to use this uh, free book. Not this. This is no. There are free book. This book, a small book, uh, use it to learn chisel. I will try to learn from this book, and you have the choice. You can choose whatever you want. If you want to learn from the internet, you are free from YouTube, you are free or use this book. Anyway, I will try to learn from this book. Uh, if you do the same, we can discuss, discuss it. You can ask me questions if you want. But if you choose to learn from another source, I don't know if I can follow you this is the uh, this is uh, a point uh, to take in consideration you have to consider that if you uh, choose to use another source uh, to learn the language uh, i can't follow you i can't understand you but if you choose to learn from the same book i'm using uh, we can discuss i can help you if you are stuck or uh, not understanding something. Anyway, we are not, the first thing, we are not uh, sure if it's a good book. I did uh, uh, an overview. I did an overview of the book. It seems good. It seems a good book. Slightly uh, big, 
it's not easy it's big it's it's uh, exhausting there are a lot of things here this is not a, a book that you can finish in one on or two week it will take some time but anyway it's a good it's a good language it's a good language it's a very good language to understand a high level language to uh, create uh, uh, hardware me myself I always you know you are my students you know that I like use uh, Logisim but Logisim is a very 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 low uh, hardware uh, description language it's a very low uh, way to create hardware the very log this language the very log is the most common everyone use very log it is uh, in the programming like uh, the language the C language we can call that the C language the C language was a language where uh, every computer science scientist should know it but the uh, the shizzle is a high level language it's like python it's more easy to create uh, complex hardware and our uh, computer our hardware it's slightly complex we can use it to take advantage of the simplicity we try to study the book okay okay that's good we we'll try to study together uh, together the book and uh, uh, try to learn from it this uh, uh, this language what is this this is a chart uh, point v means uh, point very log he will uh, at, at certain point will generate a very log file anyway very log it's uh, it's not difficult very log it's another language it's like c for programming it's not very really the, the difficult we will see we will see how things uh, would go Anyway, I have the two. Uh, I have the two uploaded for you. I will try to use it here. Okay. Okay. Let's go. And I have to give you the uh, the chapter resume to you know, can I put it here? Okay. I hope it would work. I hope you uh, you can download the, uh, the images. Uh, the uh, sorry, the uh, the files. Okay, I think we have to stop here. Okay, you have to stop here. You have to see that. You have to uh, check the book for the next time and try to start to write the chapter one. Of course, this is time of questions. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Anyway, I think the, uh, it's important to have a voice, to, to uh, configure your voice to... Uh, uh, it will be uh, more interactive. We can use the text, but the voice is better. It's much more better. I have to get uh, more interaction with you. Try for the next time to configure the voice, your uh, microphone, 
try to uh, use a microphone to talk on the microphone just to get uh, a better communication okay this is the time for questions we will stop in five minutes You have questions? Okay, prepare your questions, I'll be back in five minutes, in one minute. There's no questions. Okay, that's good, that's fine. Uh, we will stop. And uh, we will do the same exactly, uh, the same thing the, the next week, the next Friday, at the same moment at, uh, at, uh, third, uh, at, at, at 3 p.m., sorry at 3 p.m. we will uh, make a one hour session each week and inshallah we will inshallah we will continue to advance until we finish the uh, the project okay barakallahu uh, fikum i will stop uh, of course, you have uh, email if you, you want to contact me uh, before the, the next uh, uh, session. Okay, and we'll uh, and uh, and can Allah fi'awnikum, Rabbi'awnikum. Okay, salam alaikum.